Hi, Miss DeVito here. Today I'm going to show you how to make poached eggs for eggs benedict. I'm just about ready to prepare my poached eggs for my eggs benedict. I have chosen a saute pan, a pan that has high sides about two and a half to three inches tall, and it is a wide pan that I have filled with water about two inches deep. I am bringing my water up to temperature. I do not want my poaching water to boil. I want to bring it up to about 185 to 190 degrees. The reason for this is because it is a, a method in which you are preparing the egg low and slow and you want to keep the proteins tender. If the water is bubbling vigorously, it will really tighten the egg and it will be tough. So I'm going to check the temperature of the water by putting my thermometer in to the water bath, uh, but not touching the bottom because the bottom will be hotter because it is closer to the heat source. All right. What's going to help you also indicate that the water is ready is that you see the small bubbles coming up from the bottom of the pan. Okay, we're just about approaching 185. And so we are ready to uh, season our water. To season our water, we're gonna use, um, so this is about uh, four, four cups of water. We're gonna use about uh, two teaspoons of salt. And we're gonna use one teaspoon of white vinegar. Pour that in, one teaspoon. The white vinegar is going to help the whites of the egg white coagulate or firm up as well as take shape more beautifully around the egg yolk. It also adds a little bit of flavor. I'm going to stir the water to help dissolve the salt. And then I'm going to stir my water again because I like to create the whirlpool effect before I add my eggs in because it creates a much nicer looking formed poached egg. So now I'm ready to drop my eggs gently into the poaching liquid. So again, I'm going to spin my water a little bit. And I'm gonna take my egg that I put into a bowl and I'm not going to drop it high. I'm going to go as low to the bottom as I can to add the egg. I'm gonna do the second one. Again, as low as I can put it in and just gently place it in the water. I'm going to let the eggs cook for about two to three minutes and I will check back and let you know how they're going. It's been about one minute and my eggs are slowly poaching. Notice that I'm making sure to maintain the water temperature. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the water and just make sure that I am going over the top, sort of basting the top of the eggs to make sure that the tops are cooking as evenly as the bottoms are because the bottom is closer to the heat source, so it may cook a little faster. I'm also gonna use a, a slotted spoon to take away any of the excess egg whites that may float away or detach from your cooked poached egg. The eggs are poaching very nicely. I'm just gonna pick one up gently to see how it's doing. Okay. So the whites are getting firm. You can tell that the yolk is still soft inside. 
but I do see that it's slightly opaque, not uh, very white. So I wanna give it about 30 more seconds of cooking. My eggs are now ready to come out of the water. I'm gonna pick them up one at a time. And I'm gonna place them onto a paper towel. And the reason why I do this is because I need them to dry off a little bit from any of the poaching liquid because I'm gonna put them on an English muffin and any extra in, uh, water that comes in contact with the English muffin is gonna make the English muffin soggy. The next thing while our eggs are cooking is we're gonna prepare our Canadian bacon. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of pan spray into the bottom of the pan. The pan has been preheated and I'm just gonna sear this until it's lightly browned on both sides. Making sure that when I put it down, I'm putting it down away from it. Here I have my English muffins in my toaster oven, and I just want to get them to a nice golden brown. Now I'm going to plate my egg benedict that's made with a poached egg. I have my English muffin here on my plate. I'm going to take two slices of the Canadian bacon and put it on top of each English muffin. egg up off of its paper towel and when I do that just notice how I pick up the paper towel and kind of scoop it onto uh, my spoon so that I avoid breaking it and then I'm going to place it right onto my English muffin okay and then I just need to top it with a little bit of sauce so we put a sauce, which is one of the, the mother sauces on top of uh, Egg Benedict uh, called Hollandaise sauce. Now this is just a quick Hollandaise sauce, an instant Hollandaise sauce, and we use it in school as a cheap uh, method, but we're going to show you a video of how to make Hollandaise sauce on Ruby. So here's my sauce. So you can find this in the supermarket set in the, in the supermarket in the gravy aisle. a little bit over at the top of each of my poached eggs. And now I have eggs benedict.